Our second speaker is also giving an icebreaker, but he's not a new Toastmaster, he's just a rusty Toastmaster. David was in our club for a couple years and then disappeared for a couple years and now he's reappeared and we're fortunate to have him here and looking forward to hearing his voice from the lectern again. So please help me welcome Toastmaster David Alstein. More than a few years ago, I joined Toastmasters. Why? I'm not a nervous speaker, but I knew I had tons of room for improvement. My brain isn't what I would consider to be a fast processor. It's always trying to catch up to my voice. So I filled that time with a lot of ums, 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 filler words. But I knew I could be better. I knew I could be a better speaker, speak more persuasively, speak with more conviction, speak with more oomph. My fellow Toastmasters, guests, distinguished Toastmasters, what better way to work on improvement than with you, fellow Toastmasters, all with one common goal, becoming better at something. In this case, becoming better at public speaking. I want to be better. You want to be better. We all want to be better. Kind of like I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. But in this case, ice cream is public speaking. I knew being a lawyer where I wanted to take my career. Not the type of lawyer that's the butt of all your jokes, but the good kind of lawyer, presumably there is such a thing. The Jack McCoy of law and order, of lawyer. I knew as a person where I wanted to take my mental state, and I knew as a father where I wanted to become being a dad. Never the best dad, too many, too high of expectations, but not the worst, right? <laughs> then I stopped Toastmasters, cold turkey. Only if I could stop all of my bad habits, cold turkey. <laughs> blame it on laziness, blame it on being too busy at work, blame it on life. It doesn't really matter because I stopped. I can candidly say, though, I've met amazing people in Toastmasters. Amazing speakers, extremely funny speakers, very talented speakers, many in this room, some not in the room. But overall, I've met amazing people. People with the same goal as me, wanting to become better at public speaking. And now, today, or last week, I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> Almost, because as a lawyer, you always have to kind of disclaim everything and never say anything with any, any absolute uh, statements. And I'm not back in the creepy Freddy Krueger, I'm back kind of way, but I'm back with the goal of trying to become better and to teach my kids that you're never too old, even at the old age of 46, to improve one's life. I'm not good at speaking impromptu. I know that. But I'm okay speaking with notes, almost as my comfort food but less caloric than ice cream. In 2023, I determined my mantra is no effing around, but I don't use the word effing as my kids know. I don't speak the most diplomatically. I have too many things in this world, in my life, pointing up, although that did sound better in my head than than in the voice. Um, as a father, I'm sure my kids have complaints, but they're doing well in school and they're healthy. I knew for my mind that I needed to constantly improve, whether it's devoting to fitness, to a hobby, to reading, to Toastmasters, something to always keep myself mentally sharp. The thing is, you can't let anyone dictate your path. You've got to dictate it for yourself. And if somebody tells David F off or David pound sand, so be it. They won't be the first and they certainly won't be the last. But there is a but. How my kids perceive me, how she perceives me matters. Last year, my kids encouraged me to grow this. 
I don't really like it. My mom doesn't like it. My mom keeps on asking me when I started rabbinical school. Uh, I have not started rabbinical school. I ask my kids if they like it. She says yes. My boys say yes. They're known to F with me quite, quite a bit. So I don't know what to believe. But I do know that they're my key audience. And I've never been more nervous speaking than speaking in front of my family, in front of my kids. So the question is, who am I? I'm just a guy like you trying to be better. Thank you.